Hi. Now, what we've got here is a typical example on solving a differential equation. So, if you haven't done this already, why not pause the video, have a go, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. Well, first of all, what I'm going to do is just write down the differential equation that we're given. So, we've got dy by dx then equals 3 divided by y times cosine squared or cos squared x. Now when we have a differential equation like this, what we've got to do is separate the variables. That is, put the y's on one side, on the left hand side, and all the x parts on the right hand side of the equals. So what I'm going to do is times both sides by y and remove the dx. So what we're going to get is y, we'll have therefore y dy equals 3 over cos squared x and then put the dx there. And then what we must do is then integrate both sides. Okay, so we just rearrange it to that in the one line. Okay, so we've got this. Now, by the way, I didn't need to move the 3. I could have done. I could have moved the 3 and put it over onto the left-hand side. And I'd have had a one third times the integral of y dy equals the integral of 1 over cos squared x with respect to x. It doesn't matter, but uh, I prefer to have constants on the top here, okay, rather than create fractions. But that, as I say, is totally up to you. Now, next step is to try and think about how we're going to integrate these two. Well, this is okay to integrate. This will be y squared over 2. But for this one here, see this as 3 times 1 over cos squared x. And 1 over cos squared x is the same as sec squared x. So, therefore, I can rewrite this as the integral of y with respect to y equals the integral of 3 times 1 over cos squared x, 3 times sec squared x. I can take the 3 as well out the front of the integral. Again, I don't have to do that, but it always pays generally to pull a constant out the front of an integral. Now, I'm happy with integrating sec squared x. It is one that we should be familiar with. It is tan x. It's what we call a standard integral. So if we integrate this then, y with respect to y, that's going to be y squared over 2. And then if we integrate the other side, we've got 3 tan x. Okay, 3 tan x. Now, normally we'd put a constant for each of these integrals. Let's imagine we had a constant for this one, constant for this side. If we took this constant away from the constant over this side, we'd get another constant. Let's call it plus c. You don't have to have plus c this side. You can have plus c here. I often get lots of people saying to me, writing to me, saying, why haven't I got a plus c on this side? Why do I put it on this side? It doesn't matter, okay? So why not work it through with the plus c on this side? you should eventually get the same answer. Okay, well, we need to work out what this constant is, and what I'm going to do is carry on down here. We'll call this equation 1, because what we know is that we have this condition here. We're given that y equals 2 at x equals pi upon 4. So we can say that when x equals pi upon 4, y equals 2. And what we can do with these two values is substitute them into this equation, sub them into equation 1. Okay, so what we would have then is for y, we've got y squared, which is 2 squared, and that's going to be divided by the 2 here, and it equals 3 times the tangent of whatever x was, tan of pi 
upon 4. Now this is not in degrees, okay? Again, I'm often asked, how do you know it's in degrees or radians? Generally, if this says degrees, then it's in degrees, but pi upon 4, there's no degree sign here, so it's in radians. And generally also, if you've got pi given, that's a clue to it being in radians. So 3 tan pi upon 4 plus c. Now, do we know what the tan of pi upon 4 radians are? Pi upon 4 in degrees, pi upon 4 radians is the same as 45 degrees. Tan of 45 degrees is 1. So when we get here, this will be just simply 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Here we've got 4 divided by 2, so that's therefore 2. And as I said earlier, this is going to be 3 times 1, which is 3. And then we've got plus c. And from here, it follows that if we take 3 from both sides, c equals 2 take 3, which is minus 1. And what we do now is we substitute this back into equation 1. And if we do that, we're just going to have y squared over 2. So therefore, we have y squared over 2 equals 3 tan of x. And then plus c plus minus 1 is just going to be minus 1. Now it didn't say solve the differential equation, making it in the form y equals. So you can leave it like this, okay? You don't have to rearrange this. If you do, it doesn't matter, but they're quite happy to accept you, your solution at this level here. Going back to this constant business, if you had plus c here and you didn't write it here and did exactly what we're doing okay, you'd find that the constant over here would turn out to be 1. Just try it if you haven't done it and you want to just check it out. If you had your constant here, plus c, it would turn out to be 1. Same solution as this, it's just the same as if I add 1 to both sides, okay? I'd have y squared over 2 plus 1 equals 3, 3 tan x. Anyway, whatever way you do it, hopefully you are able to follow this method and uh, be able to do other ones. Alright? Okay.